Rod, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're gonna to talk about staying motivated as a technician. One of the hardest things for me as a technician is, well, monotony. Doing the same job over and over again gets boring. That's a good thing for flat rate because you get really efficient at that job, but one of the things that I like to do when I am doing a job I'm extremely familiar with, I like to time myself and try to get a little faster at that job. Now this is really good for a job you're very familiar with. You can just bust it out, you kind of go on autopilot. Now for me, as well as you, you can't skip any steps. That's a huge rule. So if you, you know, run bolts down with, you know, an electric ratchet and then you hand torque it, you can't skip the hand torque, okay? <laughs> you can't skip steps. You just have to maximize your fluid of movement. And what I mean by that is you know the job. You know what tools you're going to use. You can lay them out so you can use them effectively. You know how to do the job. You're just trying to get a little faster. It's just a way for me to put a little interest into that job. You're a diagnostic guy like me and every ticket that comes in is, oh, O2 sensor heater fault code. Oh, yep, tested it. O2 sensor's open, I got power and ground to the heater, it's good, O2 sensor. You know, you're just dealing with the monotony kind of average everyday diagnostics. You're not getting anything interesting, you're not getting anything challenging. That's where I go to the internet. <laughs> Honestly, go watch some case studies. Sit there and watch, you know, Scanner Dan or watch you know, old video, go watch case studies on YouTube, go back to ones you haven't looked at in a long time, watch them and we'll try to determine testing methodology, challenge yourself on that diagnostic to figure out where they should go, where you would go and come to this, con you know, hopefully the same conclusion they did. <laughs> but it gives you a way to you know, flex your brain when it comes to diagnostics. Because if you're doing the same kind of jobs over and over again, you haven't had a communication problem in a while, maybe go watch a communication video, kind of flex your brain vicariously through Scanner Danner, GoTech, Super Mario Diagnostics. Go flex your diagnostic muscle mentally, just not on the job. It's a good way to stay motivated when it comes to diagnostics because we've all been there you know if you're working in an average shop chances are you know check engine lights are well kind of sometimes boring if you're not getting that kind of mental exercise on the job do it vicariously through youtubers just a good way to do that you can also go to sites like iatn diagnostic network etc and help some people you know, just flex your diagnostic muscle differently. So let's talk about the general monotony of sometimes this job. You know, you're doing the same jobs over and over and over again. You're doing brake jobs, you're doing oil changes, you're doing all the normal day-to-day -day stuff that a shop would do. And well, not, you know, much interesting. How do you stay motivated? Well, disconnect. This is one of the most important things I can stress if you're tired and you're hurting and you just need to disconnect. If you're not worried about flexing your diagnostic muscles, you're more needing a mental break from this industry, take it. Take the mental break. That, if that means hopping on your PS4 and playing video games, if that means going out in the woods, lighting a fire and just hanging out, disconnect from this industry. The best thing you can do is forget about it, Till the next time you gotta go back in, do something fun for yourself that just allows you to disconnect from the industry. Forget about this industry, you know. I'll be honest, some of the happier people I've known, when they leave the shop, <laughs> they stop thinking about it. And they're usually happier than those that think about, you know, how could I done this better? They obsess about their abilities in this industry there are deficiencies in this industry. You know, I know sometimes it's hard to do that, but you need to straight up just disconnect, go do something you enjoy, whatever it is. Doesn't matter what it is. It's your fun, go have fun. Go enjoy yourself. 
I don't know about y'all, but I work to live. I don't live to work. After I'm done with my job, yes, I will watch videos and stuff like that and try to improve my skills, but I disconnect completely from the shop once I leave it. You know, yeah, every now and then that one thing will nag in the back of your head, but for the most part, I'm out of the shop. I'm done with it until the next day, until I gotta go back. So it's really important if you're feeling that lack of motivation, disconnect. You know, if you're really feeling really unmotivated, take a vacation. Even if it's just, you know, taking a day off. Sometimes just not having to go into work can help you mentally more than you will know. So, hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.